if I'm gonna run down my body, it's gonna be on something that pays me. So a job and in my 20s. And I still have a couple of years left in my 20s. Hi guys, haven't vlogged in a hot little minute, but um back at my other job because um the manager called and asked me if I wanted to come back and at first I'm just like, you yeah, know, I I I'm gonna overwhelm myself. But then uh to the nursing home sometimes some weeks I get four days and so I have three days off and so I decided that I'm gonna pick up some shifts here those days when I'm off because they're okay here matching my schedule. So today's my first day here and it's pretty okay so far i expected to be more tired at this time because right now it's 5 20 so um pretty much two hours to go and i thought that i'd be more tired at this time because my body would have already been acclimated to leaving work at three o'clock and like going home and then that's the thing too tomorrow I work at the nursing home and when i do tomorrow i'm gonna be off from like three o'clock so i'll get time to sleep in the evening if i want to but i work tomorrow and sunday and then i'm off monday and i'm giving myself rest in between i told them that i'm available three days next week here and i felt like i should have said two but not complaining i'm very grateful and i'm making use of it and i'm gonna just be working once it dark and saving and you know just that but right now i feel like now is a good time to have two jobs because you're young and your body is able to manage it and so now's the perfect time so now using the opportunity to work as much as i can especially before you know my daughter is here and that i'm not able to do things like that so yeah if i'm gonna run down my body it's gonna be on something that pays me so a job and in my 20s and i still have a couple of years left in my 20s so now i'm down here trying to oh, look at this size of the stock room i'm down here trying to bring up some stock because obviously this is a stock room so I'm bringing up some stock upstairs i've made a couple of trips already but i'm not even bugging like at first i'm just like oh today's my first day back here why do i have to be the one who does this but i'm not even bugging because it's mad chill down here and i can sit down for a little bit in between like packing out the stuff and it's just me you know it's chill so I'm not even complaining but at, at first too when i just got the job at the nursing home i was wondering if i wanted to keep the both of them but i'm just like yeah i don't know yet how the workload is going to be at the nursing home so let me see first and you know i've been doing it for a while and i was actually surprised that they called me back this is the second time i left this job and they ended up calling me back and i'm just like damn and my mom was saying to me you know that's how it goes when you work good and you know you pretty much have good work ethics and people like you where you work they're gonna want to call you back and i'm glad that they have decided that they're gonna match my schedule because that makes it a little bit more easier on me if any one of the weeks i feel like i could swing more than two days or like more than three days then i will definitely do that because i'll have time to rest in between and then the good thing about my job at the nursing home is that i get off from three o'clock so like i have the whole rest of the evening to like rest and sleep and even when i get off at three o'clock sometimes i'm just going to bed at 11 11 30 or even 12 o'clock to wake up the next morning at like five o'clock okay and i'm still functional and i'm still fine so i'm not really stressed right now I just need to make sure that I'm eating, you know, because lately I've been so anxious. I could, I, I just can't eat. Like when my anxiety is acting up, it feel like it fills me up so I can't even eat. Anyways, I have a list of things that I'm supposed to be getting down here. And as I'm going through, I'm crossing them off and, you know, so I'm keeping myself in check. But that is what I'm doing right now. So, but I bounce because it's 524 right now and I leave at 730. So just two hours. I need to get as much up as I can because I'm not going to be here tomorrow either. And obviously nobody else is gonna come down here so yeah i need to find some of this stuff now hi guys it's currently what time is it 5 57 a.m right and i have to leave in about 20 minutes just to make it on time and honestly i'm kind of annoyed so last night when i came home from my other job i came home a little bit late like after eight Maybe like 8 30 and uh, no it was after 8 30 actually and i realized that my watch was doing like the weirdest thing so i'm like okay whatever what is this i don't want to wear the scrubs today i'm like okay whatever what is this and so i put it on the charger then i realized that when i put it on the charger like it turned off 
but the battery was not dead. So I'm like, okay, this is absolutely weird. What is on my, my the butt of my scrubs? I definitely don't want to wear this scrub right now. Yeah, so I'm like, what is going on with it? So I plug it in, it starts charging, it turned off, and then, you know, I press the button, then I turn back on, and I'm like, okay, it's lit, we're good. Wake up now, and like, I was touching it to check the time, which is a good thing that I touched it before I was actually ready to go, and like, was taking it up to leave, and the thing is turned off. So I press the button, and the Apple sign comes on, and like, it's turning back on and everything. The battery is freaking dead. So... I had to use my charger base from my phone, which is the fast charger base, to put on the watch charger and plug it in. And it's been like maybe 15 minutes and I guess it's doing okay at this point. I don't know. It's like barely even even halfway charged and it's 559. And I've never had to go a day without using my watch because it was dead. Because I always charge it overnight, but I don't know what's what's up with it. And naturally when my gadgets are acting up like that, I'll check to see if there's like a new software update or whatever the case is and there wasn't so then i'm just like oh my gosh like what is the issue here bro let me check again because even the phone was kind of tweaking it's six o'clock right now and i really do not have time to be playing around with the damn watch but it's the first time it's ever done something like this i think i checked a couple of days ago and it said that the software was up to date an error occurred while checking for a software update try again i'm saying the same thing Unable to fetch data, so we're not gonna fetch the data. I hope that it charges good within the next 10 minutes or so. Because, where am I gonna plug the watch in at work? Like, I'm gonna have to just deal with the fact that it died if, if that's what happens. And, like, throughout the day when I'm at work, I like to use my watch because it's already on me to like probably look at messages that people have sent me or whatever. It's so my mom, it's my daughter, just whatever the case is. And so, that's easy. So I don't know what we're going to do. But I'm obviously getting ready to leave and I need to keep checking when the bus comes so I don't miss it because I'm not trying to pay for an Uber. Okay. Still on time. Detour posted two minutes ago. Until further notice, all 11 buses are detoured between Centerville Street and uh, for construction. Buses may stop along the detoured route oh okay love that for me and put this shirt on put my shoes on and just be ready to go even if i'm not leaving like right at the second because I can't play with these buses and during that time i'll also have to spend the time waiting on the stupid watch to be done doing whatever the hell it's doing love that for me so if one should ask I'm having a pretty decent morning so far six o'clock anyways yeah I'm gonna go so I'm walking to the bus stop right now you guys and let me just say how much I really appreciate the cooler weather like I'm not a hot as hell summer day type person but I'm definitely not a freezing cold type person either. I'm like in between. I feel like I've kind of fall in between in a lot of places in life. But that's another topic for another day. Anyways, I'm walking to go catch the bus. It's about a 10 minute walk. So it's not bad. It's a good way to get a lot of exercise in in the mornings. Along with the one that I do get in the evening. Even though some of the evenings I take the bus. Sometimes I feel so mentally checked out, like I'm so tired from like all day at work. So I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm taking the bus, I'm not walking. And so I do that sometimes, but, but this morning, I decided that I wanted to, yo, my hair, now that I'm looking at it, I should have combed my hair. My hair looks absolutely crazy. And you see, this is the thing with me. Let me find out that I can get away with something like this with like waking up and like wearing my hair like this and I will abuse the crap out of it to the point where my hair literally looks crazy and I feel like we're kind of there right now even though this is the first time I'm doing it because I do like making sure that my hair looks put together but fine I do like making sure that my hair looks put together 
But this morning, I just wasn't in the mood. I'm telling you, you see the days before my day off? Like, I be feeling like I have the last drop of air. I literally thought that I was recording earlier and I was not. And I can't even remember what I spoke about. So, that's that. But, um, last night I really fell asleep early because I was so tired from, like, working both jobs this week. And just, like, one behind the other and you know one of them is more demanding physically because i'm just standing for 10 hours with a 30 minute break which is so wild to me and then you know at the nursing home it's a little bit more relaxed because you have at least two hours that you get to sit and like plus your 45 minute break 45 minutes to an hour break and like just other times in between so it's not really that hard on you where the other one damn you stand it from the moment you get there <laughs> and you're lucky if you get to sit on lunch you know and so i've just been so tired from that so last night i could not keep my eyes open i was <laughs> falling over sleeping and so i was talking to my friend but i had to just be like yo i'm about to go to sleep man I'm too tired <laughs> but yeah i'm about to go get the bus i'm pretty much there right now so i guess i'll pick the vlog back up later or so Thank you.